Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a flash body Hoss fly. Uh, the Hoss fly was a Billy Westmoreland jig that was tied on an aspirin head uh, that he used on Dale Hollow with a lot of success. Um, I did a version with craft fur and a rabbit strip trailer. Uh, mainly as a bait fish presentation, but this one we're going to do a little bit of a, a craw deal here. In the vise, we have a one quarter ounce do it freestyle jig, which is sort of a, a modified ball head, um, aspirin head, maybe a hybrid you would call it. It's semi round, but it's got these flat sides for the eyes with a eye sockets indented in there so you get that kind of hybrid look I like it better than a regular aspirin head because this will actually uh, it's pretty stable when it hits bottom so I kind of like this head for this type of jig uh, it's a quarter ounce as I said the color is brown camo craw and it's a 3 aught mustad 32 746 hook it's light but not real light um, I fished this on 10 pound line uh, with the medium power cast and rod. Uh, it's that's about that's about the highest I would go. I sometimes fish it on a spinning rod too with a eight pound line. Depends on what I'm what I'm doing or where I'm at. Uh, so we're gonna get started here with some brown two ten denier flat wax nylon thread, and we're gonna get our base started. And we're going to wrap it down about a little less than halfway down the hook shank. About there. That's fine. And the first thing we're going to do is, this is orange, uh, regular strung saddle hackle. We're going to wrap it all the way back to the head. And you want this tied that it's oriented down. You see there, there's a curve to these feathers. And you want it facing down when you're tying to the back side of the jig or the bottom side. However you want to say that. You want that curved orient down. We'll get a couple little pinch wraps here. till we get it that we're centered on the hook. we go and we'll tie it down to where we stopped our thread at that's pretty good and work it back up again now the next thing we're gonna do is the same thing this is brown barred um, saddle hackle this is a saddle skin from hairline you don't need that you could use um, regular, you could still use this type of material. I like this. It's a little more expensive, but I like the look it gives in the water. It's a little bit thinner. In the same way, you're going to look at it and you're going to get it that it's oriented on the downside. And you want that just a little bit off to the side of that first hackle feather you, we put in. And rather than wrap it all the way down, I'm just going to get it set there and I'm going to add another one. You can see which way that's going. I'm going to add that to the other side. There we go. It's the hardest thing to do is get these oriented right way. But once we got it in place, we wrap it down and we're good. So now we have one on each side. I'm going to wrap my 
ha or my thread right back down to the and tie in point there and we're going to take this this is j fair's long shuck you could use cactus chenille um eye chenille tinsel chenille but i like this long shuck material you could see the length of it and the color of this is dark olive um and the reason why is it blends in with the brown we're going to use but it contrasts a little bit but it's not it still stays pretty natural but it still has flash to it so um i really like this long shuck material and i like using the dark olive um for this pattern instead of like a brown or um a light olive this seems to work really good i like it i tore some fibers off there and we're going to tie it in by that and we're going to work our thread up. Not all the way, but close, because we're going to leave a collar here to tie our material on. Now when I'm wrapping this, I'm also going to preen the material back. That it looks almost like um, a hackle collar. That's just the way the material is. I'm just about done. One more wrap should do it because I want to leave enough for a collar here. And we'll tie it off. Looks pretty good. Cut our excess off. going to bend this back here and bury that. You'll have them spare little things that I try to uh, lash down, the little fibers, whatever you want to call them. So now we're going to get our body material. What we're going to use is some Arctic Foxtail. I really like it for this pattern. You could use uh, craft fur for this. It would work just as well. I kind of like the Arctic Fox. This is some really nice stuff. We're going to use orange. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the length about right in the middle of where um, the length of these feathers to the back of the hook. We're going to want our hair to go right about the middle of that. That's uh, how we're going to gauge it. Because you'll see when you tie it that uh, flash material is also going to help it flare out a bit. So I'm going to take my orange Arctic fox tail and we're going to tie that in first. And I don't want it to go to spread out real far. I just want it a little bit along the back because it's going to, with that brown and orange uh, color pattern, it's going to work out nice. So I get that tied in. And now we're going to take brown arctic fox tail. And we're going to put it up against that to get our length of what we already have tied in. I'll trim it off. Spread that out as much as we can. That's pretty good. Now, we're going to do another clump of the Arctic fox tail. And you'll see this sticks out pretty good. We're going to tank test this um, in less than two weeks. I have a new camera coming, just so you all know. Um, I know a lot of people want to see underwater uh, video of what these jigs look like. And 
I couldn't show you as before because I didn't have a good enough camera that would pick up the low light, but I got one coming that's supposed to be very good. So um, in the next uh, week and a half to two weeks, it should be here, and um, we should be doing underwater video. Keep your fingers crossed. I get that clump tied in and you see we have a little bit left in the front there I'll spread that out So it blends in with the rest of it. I think we're good. I think we could start making the collar. I'll build this up. I do it on a taper. That's just, to me, it looks better that way. It's, um, especially on these jigs to have a little bit bigger collar on them. I prefer to have that taper. That's just me. You don't need it. But this is going to get banged around the rocks pretty good, so I'd like to have it a little bit, uh, a little bit more durable. And like I said, when I have that bigger car, I like to, uh, I like to have it on a taper. To me, it just looks better. But you don't need it to be. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to add some Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails cement. And that is done. We're going to show you what we have here. And that is our flash body hoss fly. That's in the camo craw pattern. And you see how that sits, uh, which is one of the reasons I like that head, because when you're in the bottom in the rocks, uh, it'll stand like that when it hits bottom. And these feathers will, will float up slightly. Uh, the way I fish this is sort of like the way they fish preacher jigs is, uh, in this pattern, I'll let it hit the bottom. I don't use my rod. I keep the rod at a 10 o'clock position. I'll give it two cranks at a reel and let it fall. Two cranks at a reel, let it fall. So what you get is almost like a cross scooting out from under a rock. You get that quick movement and then it hits uh, your bites on this you won't always feel. Most of the time what it is is when you go and you, you do that two or three cranks and stop, you'll go to crank and you'll rod load up. That's when they're usually on it. That's how most of the bites come on this. So there it is. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.